grilled lamb chops with a vibrant green habanero honey salsa verde. Oh, hey. yeah. What is my small part in your very large plan? Madame. Yes. Quarter the lemons. Quarter. Put them over there. Done. And just pick some basil for me. Got you. OK. Wow. Mm -hmm. So, lamb. Like that, Controversy. But I think we're break, making some breakthroughs in, in, in the field of lamb. I sure hope so. People mm. get funny about it, and it is such a great protein. I would tell you that, other than cooking a hamburger, this would be your second meat. If you're, if you're really scared of cooking meat, this is the meat you want to cook. Because it's cut ahead of time. You butcher it. You ask for lamb chops French. French means they take the fat off here. One inch thick. Why one inch thick? Because you won't be able to control the temperature of this if it's any less than that. I mean, you can. If you have those little fast lollipops, what yeah, they call yeah. it. But yeah. I like it one inch thick at least, OK? And it's very important that you get the best lamb you can possibly find. What I like to do is I have a griddle. Why a griddle and not a grill? Jeff, any, mm. any uh, I mean, you I got know. surface Air area. Air circulation. Yeah. Surface area, more contact with the protein For itself. For what reason? The, the Maillard okay. effect, you get better caramelization, better flavor. One more thing. And the color. Fat. The fat's and fat. not going to drip off of it. If you put these on a grill outside, the charcoal is going to be delicious. <laughs> Ain't that the truth. And that's the problem with outdoor grills. There's so much flame, and all that fat goes down, flames up, and you end up getting a dry, it tastes kind of charred and smoky, and you think it's good, but it's like there's no lamb effect. Ah. Any red meat, especially that you're going to cook in a cast iron, has to be out at least an hour to get to room temperature. Really important. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to liberally season it with kosher salt. Would, okay. you, uh, would you recommend, I season I, with salt my meat when I put it out on the counter for that hour? Well, but not let, this. Let. This is very thin. So if it's a big steak, yeah. yes. I, over, I turn it over and salt it again. Now, I like it at room temperature so we get a real even medium. This is going to be medium. Lamb, medium, medium. rare, medium, rare, medium to medium. Medium rare to medium is the best. It can't be rare. It's too much delicious yeah. fat that needs, okay. that needs charred up. Now, it Chew seems it like I'm putting yeah, a lot of salt on it, but you have to understand this needs salt. And then we're going to put it on here. What kind of oil we're going to use for this, Jeff? A neutral yeah. oil, maybe vegetable oil, maybe grapeseed oil. How about nothing? I was going to wow. say, you don't need anything this with This guy, trick fat. question to yeah, me over right, here. Look right. at you. Yeah. These are really, we took some fat off, and they're French, and you just leave them alone. And you want that thing to really have a lot of heat preheated. OK, can you put this basil in here, Yeah. please? Yeah, yeah. We're going to make a habanero honey salsa verde. Now, salsa verde, to me, is a bunch of herbs, anchovy, garlic, capers, with no vinegar or acid. Because what happens when acid hits green? Turns brown. Yeah. Correct. So anchovies, very important. Gone. Garlic, very important. Gone. Basil, very important. Capars, or coppers, very um, important. Coppa. Par my cousin, was, <laughs> my cousin Connor was a coppa. Parsley, mint, cilantro. Wow. OK. I'm going to give that a little buzz right now before I add everything else. Buzz, be great. buzz it then. You don't need any more basil. See that? I haven't touched it. I know all you people up there, you want to do, you want to go there. Don't, hey, don't wanna... you disrespect us at home. No, but you have to, like, let the food cook. Just leave it alone. It's very hard sometimes. It's very hard. I, when you're outside, you want to touch it, you think, no. No. Check your email. Much better. We're going to scrape this down. Oh, the smell of that. It's yeah. Oh, my, I can smell it. The now walk. we're going to have our habanero very finely diced. Wow. OK. Spicy. Can you add some salt and pepper yeah. to this, please? Mm -hmm. Honey. I, was, I heard you. Oh, you I'm almost called me hun. I'll take I your cheese. I call you hun. Go ahead, hun. Friends. Get in there. You can do that. All right. Go, go. Oh, no, today. No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. Oh, my god. Mm -hmm. forever okay. over there. Now we're going to go. Now, you have to make sure that you get all this pretty good. And then we're going to add the oil, OK? You want this, like, kind of wet, so you can drizzle it. Uh, yeah, you good? Shall we taste it, Sonny? Yes, I'm in. Why don't you taste? See what you think, see what it needs. Let me know. That looks so green and bright and pretty. It's vervent. It's verdant. You didn't put any Verdin. lemon juice or vinegar No, in because it'll brown it. Intuitive, it'll, but... It'll brown out. We are eating the rainbow. Oh, is there. Is there any acid supposed to be involved? No, no. Need salt? No. You sure? Yeah, taste it yourself. Let me know what no, you No, no, I trust you. Put that right here. Where? Right here. Right on Where? the plato? Look at that. We're going to serve it in I'll that vessel. Look at yes. this cowboy. You want me to get a vessel for you? No, nah, I don't need a vessel. All right, you ready? Yes. Come here. Come here, you over there. Hey. <laughs> Look at this love here. Watch this. <laughs> and that's what doing it on a griddle versus yeah. a grill. Mm -hmm. Oh, I got a Doesn't want to come up yet. One. OK, oh, these two need a few more seconds. Yeah. We come back, I'm going to serve these babies up right away.
Stay right there. Oh. All right, we are back with our eye-popping spring menu with my lamb chops, and they're just about done. Two or three minutes, that is it. So we're gonna make a little butter braised or Ooh. roasted radishes. Okay, hot radishes. Butter. Radishes. I didn't like radishes until I got uh, good radishes. A little olive oil. Yeah. Some yeah. salt. Will you pepper those for me? Yes. And we're just going to let those just sort of get into that screaming pan. This is going to make a... Radishes cooked. I, I got an idea of this recipe from Katie Lee, who made radishes for me, roasted with lime juice one day. And I was like, what is going on? It was so good. Now, you see this? What has to happen? Now they have to rest. So we're just going to put them on this platter. I like to arrange Beautiful. them for the fun. And you eat these. Ovitcha Hans. I mean, if it's a choice between pork fat, beef fat, and lamb fat, mm. I'm going lamb fat every time. Yeah, it yeah, just it's a, melts it's a time. in a lower temp. Lamb it's... and pork. I, I mean, love lamb. It love is it. one of my favorites. I think ground lamb to make a burger out of is so fantastic. It's great. It's great. Lamb chops. I, I prefer okay. them like this versus like rack of lamb. So I'm going to let this rest for a few minutes before we garnish. Okay, so you don't want to have these. You want some bite in it. You have to have the bite in the, I think, in the uh, radishes. So yeah. we're gonna put a little Crisp. lemon juice and then a surfite of herbs. That bite of spring. These are French radishes. I love the shape. I love the look, and I love mm. saying French. <laughs> you charge more. You charge, you yeah, charge a lot more. It really is so pretty having that bright, Isn't bright nice pink though? with the green. And, <clears throat> and they're they're done. Look how beautiful it is. I mean, that's, really that's all it is. All right, gorgeous. it's a little butter, a little radishes. We're gonna put these here. Look how pretty that is. Oh, I mean, that is so, so easy to do. I'm gonna yeah. move this so we can all Let see. Let me get the uh, spoon. This is our salsa verde right in the container. Gorgeous. This freezes great, by the way. Oh, yeah, you just right put a little next... layer of oil over it, Definitely. container, so it doesn't <laughs> oxidize. Freeze up nice for you. But yes, and a little lemon juice. I always oh, serve yeah. lemon with the lamb. Yeah. Okay, you ready? Need it. Yes. Fat. Are you this... ready? I know you got more garnish. You're gonna have a little of this. Look at those beautiful little babies. Just that couple. licorice scent of the tarragon, oh. right? Every time it gets me, I love it. Mm. I don't even like licorice. Mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Can you pass me a knife and fork, kind sir? Oh, my God, you're what so kind of high maintenance. Of course I'm I can. I'm high maintenance. Jeff. Are there knife knives over there for you? You good? Jeff's going to do because he's a good guy. Oh, wow, a double. I'll give you another one. Two for Tuesday coming at you. <laughs> Guys. I need a fork. No fork. A I need a fork. Okay. Right. Mm, this is beautiful. My mm. on me. I can't Not even know. The... the lamb is so perfectly cooked because it gets that crust on the outside from being on the griddle. And the salsa verde packs mm. such a punch mm -hmm. between the garlic and all those herbs. I mean, talk about eating the rainbow. But the reason so the, the, the lamb is like, at the proper temp is because we, we let it outside mm -hmm. to get to room mm -hmm. temperature. Otherwise, mm -hmm. it's going to be nice outside and raw inside. You don't want raw. I lamb. love it. I'm making this for my family. This is yes. fantastic. 